Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the anti-aliasing issue in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010. Using NVIDIA Control Panel and AMD Radeon Control Panel's anti-aliasing mode. If you've been bothered by those jagged edges on objects, stick around because we're going to smooth things out. I actually discovered this method a long time ago. I tried it for modern games too, but it didn't work. As far as I remember, this setting only works for a few games, so I don't recommend this method for every game, but I don't know about the AMD driver because I don't use an AMD card. But it's up to you to try. Before we dive into the video, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and enjoy my content. This way, you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. What causes jagged edges in games? Your screen is composed of tiny squares called pixels. When a game tries to represent a smooth curve or line, it has to approximate it using these square pixels. This approximation often results in a staircase-like effect, especially when the object is moving. A lower screen resolution means fewer pixels to work with, making the approximation less accurate and the jagged edges more noticeable. Games with simpler models often have fewer polygons, which can lead to more pronounced edges. When objects move quickly, the aliasing becomes more apparent as the pixelation becomes more visible. Essentially, it's a conflict between the smooth, continuous world that games try to simulate and the discrete. Nature of pixels on a display. Is there any fix for this issue? Yeah, we can fix this issue using NVIDIA Driver Control Panel and AMD Radeon Driver Control Panel. Let's change the anti-aliasing settings in the NVIDIA GPU driver. First, let's open the NVIDIA Control Panel. To do this, right-click on your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel from the context menu. Once the control panel is open, navigate to Manage 3D Settings in the left-hand menu. Under the Global Settings tab, scroll down until you find the Anti-Aliasing Mode setting. Click on it and select Override any application setting from the drop-down menu. Next, look for the Anti-Aliasing setting option just below it. Here, you can choose the level of anti-aliasing you want. I recommend setting it to 4x for a good balance between performance and visual quality, but you can go up to 8x if your system can handle it. After you've made your selection, click Apply at the bottom right corner to save your changes. Now let's change the anti-aliasing settings in the AMD driver. Right-click on your desktop and select AMD Radeon Software. Go to the Gaming tab, Anti-Aliasing Mode. Set this to Override Application Settings. Anti-Aliasing Level. Choose the desired level of anti-aliasing, example 4x value or 8x. Increasing more value might be affect your game performance. Anti-aliasing method. Set this to multi-sampling or super-sampling for higher quality. Morphological anti-aliasing. MLA enable this option for additional smoothing of edges. Anisotropic filtering. Set this to 16x for better texture clarity. Texture filtering quality. Set this to high or ultra. Surface Format Optimization Enable this for better performance without compromising quality. Click Apply to save your changes. Now, let's jump into the game and see the difference. As you can see, the jagged edges on the objects have significantly reduced, giving us a much smoother and more visually appealing experience. If your system can handle it, try increasing the resolution to 1440p or higher, as this will further reduce any remaining jagged edges. And that's it. A quick and easy way to fix the anti-aliasing issue in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 using the NVIDIA driver and AMD driver. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gaming tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or run into any issues, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.